that's just the bottom line. Yeah, have a lot of fun. Alrighty guys, thanks for clicking on my video today. Today is going to be part one or the first two holes of this nine hole golf course which is called 1770 Golf Course which is about five minutes south of Agnes Water, Waters. Um, look, it's a nine hole golf course of 18 different tees. The 18 different tees don't really vary too much, maybe five or ten metres, but there's just a little nice little panoramic. They do a lot of weddings there as you can see on the left there. First things first, um, I got some range balls. They are $8 for 100 and as you can see the little mouse they move on the left, that's the range to the left there. It's flooded with kangaroos to be honest. Um, I'm on the first tee here, it's going to be a quick little vlog, so moving along. So first tee, a lot of wind, that's why I'm doing a bit of commentary today because the wind, we even had the mic on and it was crazy. So as you can see the mouse there, it's a little par 3 straight from the clubhouse up there. Uh, I actually use, I think it was a 7 on, I tried to lock it, knock it low, I kind of push it a little bit to the right, I think Christine thinks I'm a lot better than I actually am, she zoomed in right in the middle of the green, so um, I'm just off to the right there in the shade, now to show that I have been working on my chipping with GG Swings tips, check out this, now honestly this is probably a bad shot for most people, but look, I'm not too unhappy with this because I don't normally do flop shots and chips, so right there I've got a putt for par, granted it's not a very hard one, uh, a very hard one. But yeah, there's the driving range there. Now that's what I said about the kangaroos. They are everywhere. Um, as you can see, the 250 markets so obviously either A, not many people hit long ones, or B, they, they just don't care. Uh, so there's my little uh, 20 foot putt for par. So a lot of break. Um, greens, amazing. I wasn't expecting them to be so good. Uh, they must get, they do get a lot of coastal showers out there, obviously being about five minutes from the beach, but there's the first bogey. Uh, obviously I'm on holidays, so I'm not stretching out too much, just having a bit of fun right there. Uh, second hole is a par 5 dog leg, as you can see the mouse on the top, top of the screen there, a dog leg. It's kind of hard, a lot harder than you actually think when you look here. Um, so I've basically played my typical power fade, hashtag, you know, patent pending. Uh, so there it is there, a little low ball flight. Now, it actually, I actually think it is maybe about another 20, 30 metres longer than the sign says, because it is quite a long hole. Uh, Kristen got a nice, a, quite a few little snaps of uh, kangaroos. Now this is probably the most kangaroos I've seen on a course in a long time, and healthy kangaroos too. Real big ones, lots of joeys as you can see right there. Um, a lot of greenish, a lot of places for them to eat too, they're hiding, but as you can see right here, there is no rough on the fairway. It's pretty much a mown fairway, and then goes right into the paper bark trees and you know bush trees like that, so playing another cut. That's what I said before, it really does cut around. It's like a, a lazy letter U, if that makes sense. Um, so I'm about probably 15 meters short of the green on the par five, so I'm not too unhappy. Now, yes, I am putting here, but that's what I was saying before. It's it's rough and it's sand in there, and I just want to hit the ball and get it on there. So, not too unhappy of this. It kind of got a lot of top spin on there, rolled up. So, you know, if all else fails, I've got a birdie putt, which can bring me back to uh, uh, square, actually. A uh, little uh, right to left breaker. I don't think I actually read this properly. I don't, I wasn't didn't really want to go at it too hard. Uh, happy with the par right there. So, um, that brings me back to... Well, actually, one over for the for the first two holes. So, thanks for watching part one, guys.